When we draw a battery in a circuit like this, we treat it like an ideal battery. This ideal battery provides a voltage difference across the terminals, and this voltage difference is called the electromotive force, or EMFE, which is determined by the chemical reactions in the battery. A 1.5 volt battery has an EMF of 1.5 volts, and a 12 volt battery has an EMF of 12 volts. Note that the name electromotive force can be a bit misleading. Because an electromotive force is a voltage in volts, not a force at all, not in newtons. So an ideal battery has an EMF, but a real battery not only has an EMF, it also has some resistance, which we call internal resistance. We usually use little r for internal resistance. So a real battery is basically an ideal battery with an EMF plus. An internal resistance little r. So this whole thing is the real battery. This point is the positive terminal of the real battery, and that point is the negative terminal. The voltage difference between these two points is called the terminal voltage. If the battery provides a current I, there would be a voltage drop across the internal resistance V equals to I R. So the terminal voltage would be less than EMF. It is EMF minus the voltage drop across the internal resistance, and the, this voltage equals to the current times the little r. Because the entire battery is in parallel with the load resistance, they have the same voltage. So the terminal voltage is also the voltage across the load, which equals to the current times the load resistance. This part tells us that although the battery is supposed to be able to provide a voltage that equals to its EMF, the real terminal voltage is less than EMF, unless if the current is zero. And the more current the battery provides, the lower the terminal voltage. Now let's look at this example. A 12 volt battery's voltage drops to 11 volts. When it supplies three amps of current to a resistor, find the internal resistance of this battery. So the terminal voltage of this battery is 11 volts, which is less than its EMF 12 volts. Because of the voltage drop across the internal resistance, and this voltage across the internal resistance is the current times the resistance I times R. So we can solve for R, and it is one third of an ohm.